in order to subscribe for my channel please click here or click here please like share and comments on my videos and channel thank you hey guys this is Gaurav welcome to SAS with ServiceNow this is our follow-up session of ServiceNow developer training before I start, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Gaurav Tripathi. I have 9.5 years of experience in IT with 6.5 years of experience in ServiceNow Architect Solutions and Project Delivery. In this particular session, we are going to talk about Glide System. Now, this is one of the important API when you write business rules or do any kind of server scripting. And if you remember, we already talked about in our previous session about client-side scripting and server-side scripting. And we also talked about their different kind of APIs we have from ServiceNow. So Glide system is one of the API, which is really important. So I will show you that how exactly you can utilize this Glide system. We will show you some examples around business rules because as of now you have learned business rules and if you remember when I when I mentioned about my scripting uh, related to business rules in the same session I also used glide system and at the same time I also used glide record glide record will be my next session so in this session we will just talk about glide system why what exactly it is that and how exactly you can use it what are we going to learn in this session, we are going to talk about what is Glide system, Glide system methods, example of Glide system. What is Glide system? Now, Glide system is an object to access system level information. It provides number of methods. So it comes with the methods which you can utilize to, uh, to access the system level information. It provides methods to perform dates calculation. And the most important part is it runs on server side. So as I mentioned earlier that you have some kind of APIs which run on client, some APIs which run on server. So this is one of the API we have that is Glide system. Glide system methods. Now these are some methods, but it's not something that these are only methods we have in under glide system. We have multiple methods, which I will show you in my examples when I will try to create some business rules. Here you can see some basic example of glide system methods like we have get user, get username, get user display name, get user ID, and then has role. But we have more and lot of glide system methods. So let's take a look in our personal developer instance that how many APIs we have and let's create some business tools with the help of Glide system that what all thing you can do with the help of Glide system. Now this is my personal developer instance. I will go to business rules under system definition. I will just deactivate my previous business rules. So I will create a new business rule. So this is my business rule form. I will click on advanced because now we are talking about glass system that is scripting. So we have to enable scripting. And this is something I can do before or maybe after. Maybe on update. And then I will go to advanced. But I can also give the name here. So GS demo, that's what I have given. And let's take incident table. You can take any table you want, but I'm just taking incident table. So now what exactly I, I can do to get this GS methods? For that, I have to type GS. And if I type GS and I just press dot, these are the methods for Glide system. And that's how you declare. So the syntax of Glide system object is GS dot. You will get all the methods for Glide system. And you can see we have a lot of methods for Glide system. So if I start with, let's, let's take an example. So example I can take here. Um, let's see if I will, I will populate something. 
uh, on on the form like a message at the on the top of the form and i will populate a uh, user's information user information means the logged in user and how exactly i will do so i will do if or maybe every time every time user logs in so i will do gs dot add info message and here i can type or you can know get user now why i'm typing this because i will get the method what exactly it returns so that you will be able to know what exactly you have to use when you really uh, fulfill the requirement of your customer so here i can do one thing gs dot i will do get user so i have this get user i will press tab it will automatically populate the braces now here the next one i will do gs dot add info message here i can put get user id and i can put gs dot get user id so we will see what exactly result it gives and then we will do gs dot add info message so i have get user display and i have gs dot get user display name again semicolon and then i can do gs dot add info message get username plus this is why what we have so as you can see for user we have all these methods to get the current logged in users information and where exactly it will populate it will show an info message on the top of the form and it's showing on update that's what it will do and uh, it will run on every condition basically so whenever you will update any field it will just show these information so what i will do i will just save this for now so we will keep on using this particular business rule just to show you all the examples and i will do one more thing i can show in you in bigger screen so a little bit zoom basically so i will zoom in so that you can see what exactly i'm doing so this is the script we have written now we will try to run the code so we will go to incident this is my incident and now i'm just updating random information that was the client script which i wrote just to show you a different demo so i will save this so it should show those messages on update and now you can see i have updated now these are the information so you can see it gives me all these information get user it gives me this information then i have society and then i have display administ that is my system administrator and then i have admin now this is the name in order to know all these things what you can do i will put some space here and i'm saving this again and now i am reloading it or just saving it again so now i 
saved it. Now you can see I have space. So the first method that means get user is giving you this com glide dot sys user at this. That is what it is giving. So and then you have this one sys ID. So get user ID gives you the sys ID of the current logged in user. Get user display name gives you the name complete name of the user and then get username gives you the first name basically and that is the username there's a field not just first name the field that's called the user name that where you type login as well that's what it, it is showing you so if i go here and you can check these things as well for example if i go here i just put dot and i put get user it says returns a reference to the glide user object for the current user that means it is returning a reference the way exactly this this user is mentioned that's what it is mentioning then we have glide display name it says get the display name of the current user that's what it is showing you now this is the user id society and this is the user name that is the user id of the current logged in user now this would apply in every situation wherever we have wherever we will just update the form that is incident form and it will it will show you this information so this was one of the example of gs with get user but we have more methods as well and we can see so if i go here Uh, this is the profile i had and if i select default view so you can see my user id is admin these are my first name last name so i got the complete name as well Here, this is the complete name don't don't see that, that this is the title that's not my first uh, complete name that's just a title but what exactly it gives so we do have a field as well where it clubs first name and last name in service now so I go back to my business rule and I will make it full screen and just increase the size a little bit I'm just minimizing this navigator just to show you more information about GS. So if I type GS dot, you can see we have a lot of other methods like add error message, add info, 64. Now these are some time and date uh, methods which will help you to calculate these information. But as you can see, uh, there's a long list end of this quarter error then we have event queue as well these are all different methods which you can use with glide system we will just utilize these get user then you have also has role whether you want to check so these are all information if you want to get information about all the api's methods you have of glide system then you can also find on servicenow website that is developer.servicenow.com and there's a section called api list and you just click on that click on server and then you will find this glide system api with their all the methods in in glide system that is what you can get it from there